Greetings. Happy digging. Allotment based capers. Today I am going to. Clear up the mess. It's taken me three years to not build a polytunnel. And maybe even start my compost station. Happy digging. Hi, this thing behind me was an extremely ill-conceived and not even poorly executed excuse for a polytunnel. Um, yeah, didn't really think it through. However, I have been working on a new design for this structure, proposed structure, for three years. Um, I'm going to rip this down move the junk that this has become a dumping site um, and that's where my composting station is going to go. I've got the timbers and things I need for a fair sized composting station and I'm going to rebuild a polytunnel on part of the, uh, the newer part of the plot that's been recently acquired. Something that was very bad about this was that it was Pete Robinson has given it far too much credit really for what it actually is. But I've got a few lengths of timber and I'm going to reuse the, um, the water pipes that are here. I'm going to build it bigger, stronger and better up. And hopefully it won't take me three years. Happy digging! Something I will be salvaging from underneath the rubble pile that was my planned polytunnel are some of these strawberry plants. So I've got one there, got one there, believe it or not there's one over there somewhere and shaky cam. I've retrieved a few already, going to put them in these planters. They've actually been here for several years but growing under a pile of rubble. I will be replanting these come springtime in my planned Hugel culture inspired strawberry bird. Happy digging. made a bit of a dent in it and it's decided to rain. Marvellous. spell I encountered earlier, I've actually managed to sort of repot or add some more much needed soil to a lot of the peppers and chilies. Some of the ones in the bigger pots were getting a bit yellow so I've lifted the entire plant root bed out of the pot and able to put a couple of inches of uh, more nutri nutrient rich soil in the bottom. 
Uh, and I like the smaller plants, some of them aren't in shots. Uh, I think that's a pepper actually. Yeah, they weren't doing so well, a bit, a bit neglected. I mean, some of the plants look healthy, I'm sure they'll be fine. Um, I've used a homemade fertiliser with some um, funky stewed old banana skins that I've left sort of uh, fermenting in a, in a small container of water. So yeah, I've given them a good splash of water with the uh, funky banana juice. Yeah, hopefully they'll be a lot happier in, um, in the soil that I've provided them. Happy digging! Despite unprecedented precipitation, I have managed to pull that framework down that was supposed to be a polytunnel when I was young, naive. So, cleared up the mess here, and I've transported the mess to. So I've moved one big mess from one area, and now I've got another big mess. This area. Uh, this is approximately where I'm going to build the polytunnel. It's a better spot because where it was is under the bowels of a large sycamore tree or two. This area here, um, a lot more exposed and less chance of a fallen branch crashing through my polytunnel. Um, I planning to definitely complete construction within three years. I was delicate enough to save all these strawberry plants which have been long abandoned in these beds. In fact, I think these were grown from creepers because originally my strawberries were in hanging baskets that were netted. Anyhow, uh, I don't like spending money if I can help it. These plants should fare reasonably well throughout the rest of summer, autumn and winter. Come springtime, I'm going to dig me a nice deep trench get a bit of the old hoogle culture on the go and uh, see how these mama jammers fare. Happy digging. Doesn't look like much, and if you pay attention, you should be able to see there is a, a wasp's nest in there. Oh, so these are just a couple of wooden stakes that are in the ground to divide up the borders on my plot. I think the wood's rotted away, and uh, these little winged beasties have made a little nest. I'm not going to disturb them because. <sighs> Not doing me any harm. Happy digging. Okie dokie, focus. This raised bed, oh, must have done it. Um, this raised bed has been, well, hit and miss isn't bad. It's been a miss. Corn died, some dwarf beans have been savaged. There's been a few sweet and tomato plants. It's a bit of a hodgepodge. Um, 
what I have got is some parsnips, some white gem. Um, got parsnips growing elsewhere on the plot. It's the first time I've grown them this year, and they are growing reasonably well. Um, I've just quickly dragged a few drills in this bed. Whoa! I'm gonna sow a few of these direct. Nothing to lose. This is a packet of seed I bought. I don't like buying seed if I can help it. Although root veg. Really think there's any other practical solutions. Oh, not got my shoe stuck. Brilliant. Cover these over. It's been raining today, so this soil is nice and wet, although hey, I will give it a quick water in. Just to Hope these seeds germinate. That is the remainder of my uh, corn, wheat corn. Yeah, parsnips. What could possibly go wrong? Thus concludes another rather damp episode of Happy Digging, allotment-based capers. Although, building site-based capers, scrapyard-based capers may be more appropriate for the current camera angle. It's raining, I'm going home. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Catch you on the flip-flop. Happy Digging!